So Blender version 4.2 was just recently released, and in the update there have been some changes to the transparency settings in the EV rendering engine. So in previous versions of Blender, if you wanted to add transparency to an object in EV, you could turn this alpha down on the principal shader, but you could see the shader would turn all black. And that's because you would need to go down here to the settings, you would change this to alpha blend, and on the shadow mode you could change this to alpha hash, and now the object is transparent. And if you wanted to use the transmission instead, you could open up the transmission, you could turn the transmission transmission weight up, and to get the transmission to work, you would need to go up here to the render properties and turn on the screen space reflections and then turn on the refraction. And then you'd need to go back here to the material settings and scroll down and turn on the ray trace refraction. Well, I've now jumped into the new Blender version, Blender 4.2, and in the new Blender version, if I add a new material here and then I turn down the alpha, you can see that the alpha transparency is automatically going to work on default. However, you can see that the material looks really grainy when I turn the alpha down. So to fix this grain, we're going to click right over here to go to the material settings, and we're going to scroll down, and we want to change the render method from dithered to blended instead. And so this way it's going to be transparent. Once this loads up, you can see it's transparent, but it's not all grainy. It looks much more smooth. Now there's also this transparent shadows button, which are going to make the shadows look a bit more see-through and a bit more transparent. If I turn this off, it's going to have those very hard shadows. But for something which is transparent, like maybe some glass or an ice block or something, I would leave the transparent shadows on. Now if you zoom in here, you can see that there's almost like a pattern in the shadows. So to fix this, you can click here to go to the render settings. You can open up the sampling and go to the viewport, and you can click on this jittered shadows, and that makes it look quite a bit nicer. The shadows still look a little bit grainy, but you can render this with a denoise to fix the grain. Or you can also turn up the EV samples here, so I might turn this up to like a 500, and that definitely gets rid of a lot of the grain. Now let's say that you want to make a glass shader instead, so I'll add a new material. We can open up this transmission here, and I'll turn the transmission weight all the way up to 1. But you can see the transmission weight isn't really working because the cube is all dark. So to fix this, we want to go here to the render properties, and we're going to turn on this new setting here, which is called ray tracing. So turn this on, and it's looking a little bit better. However, we still can't see through the glass. Now we can turn down the roughness here so that the glass is a bit more shiny so it's not quite a frosted glass. We still can't see through the glass though, so to fix this we're going to go here to the material settings and we want to scroll down to the settings and we want to check mark the ray trace transmission. And now you can actually see through the glass and there's the monkey head behind the object. So this is looking a bit better, but if I look over here on the side, kind of turn that around to see the reflection, you can't really see the monkey head right here through the glass. So to fix this, we're going to click back here on the material settings, and we're going to scroll down here, and on this thickness type right here, instead of sphere, we're going to change it to slab instead. And that definitely looks a lot better for glass. Now if you'd like to learn how to create a nice realistic looking glass shader for Blender Eevee, then you can check out this video here which I'll be releasing soon on how to create a glass shader in Blender Eevee using Blender 4.2. So when that video is released, the link will be in the description and it'll also be right up here on the end screen. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.